Turns out I shouldn't have thrown those things out. Hey, it's Care. Welcome to Mate at the Lake. You know, hoarder's famous last words. I might need that someday. So I gotta hang on to it. <laughs> I am anti-hoarder. You wouldn't know that from the studio currently, but I am anti-hoarder. I purge all the time. Even junk supply, junk journal supplies. and. But on an earlier video, when I, I think it was a studio tour, I had a couple of makeup sponges that I could not... I just couldn't make them do anything beautiful at all in the studio, so I chucked them. I only had a couple, and I chucked them. Because if they're no use, why keep them? Well, as I said in the video, previous video, I'd been watching Know It Art. I think it's pronounced Know It, N-O-I-T-A-R-T. And she does amazing things, stenciling with makeup sponges, and so... I needed some makeup sponges because I'm going to be making her painty pages uh, soon. So, and I looked all over. I went to Dollar Tree. They have none. Zero. Zip nada. How can Dollar Tree have a whole aisle of makeup and no makeup sponges? They're hard to find. I just wanted these. Remember the old triangle? That's all they had. It was just those. Non-existent. I'd had a easier time finding a family of unicorns. So I got this lovely little package for, uh, I think it was three bucks. We're going to try it again. Plus, look at the beautiful packaging I can use for my rainbow project. Rainbow journal. Spectrum journal. There's two. Lots of stuff I can use. That's always fun. That's always good. Speaking of the rainbow journal, got this at Dollar Tree. It is a bandana uh, they have lots and lots and lots of bandanas what great fabric for journal covers I think this would make a really good rainbow spectrum probably not spectrum but rainbow even though it does have the spectrum I don't know it goes along with that whole thing so that's probably going to be the cover for $1.25 it's plenty big enough Plenty big enough. I could have got two so that the inside and the outside matched. The inside and outside cover. Wasn't thinking. Was in a bit of a hurry. Ugh. Made the mistake of going to Dollar Tree on a Saturday. What a flippin' nightmare. But I was already there, so I made myself do it. I keep buying these. I think they're wonderful. I wish they'd come back with the dark colors that they had before. They had black, dark purple, bright yellow, bright teal. And a hot pink uh, versus these muted colors. Colors really don't matter, but I use them a lot for clipping things together and making things, you know, holding. They're like bulldog clips. And I use them all the time. So I try to pick a package up every fifth or sixth time I go there because I use them all over the house, not just in the studio. I thought this was kind of a good sized brush to play with. Um, this has been my go-to brush for quite some time, but she's getting tired. She's not going to be reti retired anytime soon, but she's getting tired. I like the angle, but look at how spacey she is. And despite my best efforts, she's getting kind of junky. So I need a backup. And that tiny little one might come in handy for something or other. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so I just opened these up. These were the one, the two pieces from Dollar Tree. And yuck. This handle feels awful. It's huge. It is huge. I, I don't know that compared to this that has a regular size handle and a nice grip area right here this feels like something a five-year-old would have would hold on to with all her whole fist it's it's big it's super lightweight uh which is not a good thing you need a balanced the the one end should not be top heavy and this is certainly top heavy 
yuck, yuck, yuck. I, I probably won't be using this at all <laughs> now that I've got it out of the, out of the package, which is too bad. The, uh, this doesn't look too bad. It doesn't feel too bad, although it's not cut very well, but FYI, you know, you learn as you go. I didn't think to open it up and I, it didn't look huge. You know, look at, look at the difference between the ferrules are about the same size but that handle compared to this handle is almost twice as big what a nightmare let's see how these go oh i can't get in there yes i can i have the technology yes i can much better holds like a pencil much better you know because you're doing this not this this is awful <laughs> This is terrible. This is fine and dandy. These are good ones. This is a good one. Glad I didn't spend any more on it. You know, what do you expect for $1.25? I don't know. A decent handle. That's what I expect. A decent handle. Color me nutty. But now you know. Don't waste your money on these. Unless you need something that you can grip with your whole fist. If you have some sort of arthritic hands or something that you hold your brush like that, you might be okay. But this is, I don't know. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Now we all know makeup brushes, super soft, interesting, uh, different shapes. I really liked the purple and blue handles. Uh, again, watching Know It Art, uh, she uses these, and I think it's brilliant, to when she uses the black Stabilo pen for shadowing. She goes all around whatever it is with this and then uses this type of makeup brush to blend it nice size they're just nice little you know they're just and they were pretty they're pretty so i had to have them you know had to have them this i'm going to try out i'm going to run it through like a brayer run it through paint and make marks i'm thinking it'll kind of maybe look a little like bubble wrap but different I think that'll be fun. We'll see. Well, I think it was Know It that was using something from the auto detailing business. Uh, auto, not necessarily detailing. It was soundproof insulation. And they were metal and they made different kind of marks. But that got me thinking. Anything on a handle that spins could easily make some cool marks. So we'll see. That might be a great addition to uh, not only just mark making, but for the gel plate printing events. I think it would be terrific. This caught my eye when I was looking for the makeup sponges athletic tape for... Um, it's fabric. This would be 3 or $4 at Walmart. It's fabric. This is great to reinforce your spines. Really, really good stuff. It's probably, yeah, it's too strong to just tear. Um, and because it's material, it'll stamp beautifully. So if you wanted to use it for tabs, or I think this, there's all kinds of uses for this. Again, it's athletic tape in the health and beauty section of Dollar Tree. I think this is going to, this will make a great addition to the tape collection. And she's sticky. Like, what a mess already. I've had it open five seconds and it's all stuck on itself. So, uh, ran to Walmart. Had to return something because you have to go in. And I needed something way at the back. So I thought I'd look for, again, I was looking to replace this guy. I didn't get any angled brushes. I don't think. This one's not going anywhere, uh, but I like the size of this one. And these little guys, they look pretty decent as far as detailing. You know, sometimes you just need a little dot pupil in a bird's eye or a, a little tiny fine line of something. These little guys come in handy. I don't think you can ever have too many junk brushes to use. Around, you know, you, you're going to use them. And I needed some fun foam. These were on clearance at Walmart for 30 cents. 
a piece. Again, this is hard to find. I Dollar Tree has just little pieces. Just uh, I looked at a couple different places and they didn't have them. So Walmart had them on clearance. And the last thing is from Amazon. I watched the beautiful and wonderful Tracy Fox did a flip through of three journals that she made with her cinch book binding system where it puts spirals in pages and I thought well now dang now I need a cinch. They're $89. I won't be getting one today. Uh, but I did get these today. These came by Amazon. They arrived in the mail today. They are, I think, one inch or one and a half inch. I think they're one and a half inch rings. And I do have a Crocodile Big Bite that will make holes in this book cover and I've started collecting old pages uh, to fill it up a la Tracy Fox style. I've seen other people do similar books. Uh, there are some people on Etsy who just collect pages and papers and all different kinds of textures and fonts and ages and whatnot and they put them together with two or three of these rings and just sell them as paper samples so that you can use them in your junk journals or use them in your altered books. And I think that's an awesome idea uh, considering how many I have, like I said, so much stuff that I'll never in a million years use. So I would let, I want to do one for myself, see how it goes. Um, but then um, eventually get a cinch and make some up because I just think they're fantastic fun and what I love of course about Tracy's is hers are themed I think she had a bird one and now I'm not going to be able to remember what the other two themes were but they're beautiful she had uh, the old the vintage covers and then all of the papers that went in and she did do a tiny bit of decorating uh, all everything uh, she had match the theme of the cover of the book and they and she used her cinch and they looked beautiful uh, if you haven't seen it please go check it out they're they're pretty awesome cool so these came today i'm anxious to get started go go around my collection and just start tearing out uh, things that will go into this this was the how to set your table book from 1940s i think my bad 1959 well, enough. Uh, lots of beautiful old caramelized pages. I also took some pages out of the 1942 American Red Cross book. Uh, so this will be fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Looking forward to playing with all my toys. That's all that I have. Just a super quick haul for you today. Just to show you what what's new at Wagmore Studios here at Montega the Lake. Hope you're having a lovely, lovely crafty day. Go love up your peace, please. Montague at the Lake, out for now.